Hey everyone, Handy Mora here. I'm super excited to give you the first sneak peek at the new Simple Podcast Press plugin that's going to automate how you market your podcast online. Before we get started, I want to make sure it's absolutely clear that this plugin was designed to help people who host both their audio and their iTunes feed on third-party services such as Libsyn and SoundCloud. For those of you who use your own WordPress site to generate the iTunes feed, don't you worry. We'll be adding some really, really cool features for you in the very near future. So without further ado, let's go check out what Simple Podcast Press can do for you. All right, here we are. And before we get started, I want to remind you quickly what this plugin does. It takes in your iTunes feed and it automatically creates blog posts for every episode you publish. Okay, so here we are on the main WordPress dashboard. I already installed the plugin. Uh, first thing you'll notice is there's a section called Simple Podcast Press. I click on that. First question it asks me is, what is my iTunes URL that I'm trying to import? So you can find that two ways. You can find that on iTunes. You can search for your podcast and you know click uh, copy link option. But the easier way just to go on Google and type in your podcast name with the word iTunes next to it. For this demo, I'm going to use Pat Flynn's Smart Passive Income, one of my favorite podcasts. So I did a Google search earlier. It took me to this page. All I need to do is go ahead and copy this URL from the top, come here and paste it and hit save. And depending how many episodes you have and depending on uh, your server, etc., it may take I don't know, 20 seconds, 30 seconds. This is unedited, so I'm not, you're going to see exactly how long it takes. It took about maybe 10 seconds or so. And here we are on the first uh, main settings page. And the first thing you'll notice is upper right hand side is the cover art from iTunes. Now, this is, looks cool, but it actually has a purpose. The purpose is to make sure that the URL you punched in is first, that it's yours, not someone else's by accident. And second, uh, if it doesn't show up, that means something went wrong. Maybe you had a typo in the URL, etc. So it's a quick, quick validation to make sure things are working properly. All right. So the first section is the publish settings. So the by default, every blog post that gets created by this plugin is stays in the draft uh, draft state. So it's not published. It's not live. It stays in draft until you go ahead and edit, add more information, add your transcript, add images, and then you publish it yourself. But if you don't want that, if you want to auto publish, you can go ahead and click the auto publish option. Uh, second option is the email option. So if when when you are when drafts are created, uh, you want if you want to get a reminder by email that you have a draft created, you can go ahead and click this option. It will send you an email and give you a link on where to click, uh, the exact post link, and how to edit. Uh, where to click to edit your posts and publish it so that the whole world can see it. Okay, the third option is the disable of importing podcast description. Now, by default, the description from your iTunes feed is, is becomes your description in your WordPress blog post. If for some reason you don't want that or you want uh, basically a blank slate to work from on your WordPress site, you can disable importing any description. If you, uh, by default, for the cover art, if you have episode specific cover art, so for each episode you have your own cover art, you can also, um, by default, they'll get featured, they will get imported and added as a featured image on your WordPress site, which is really cool. Now, if some themes don't play well with the featured image or they don't display it the way you like, you can disable the importing of the cover art for each episode. Categories. Now, uh, this this is talking WordPress categories. So you can set up a category on WordPress called podcasts, and you can set it up so that every new blog post that's created falls under the category podcast. So your posts are clear, and you have a distinction between your podcast blog post and your regular blog post. If you have multiple authors on your WordPress site, you can choose which author you want to be the per the author of that blog post. And there's something called a custom post type. If you don't know what that is, that's cool. Don't worry about it. You don't have to do it. Deal with it. It's by default is set to a standard post. If you have an advanced theme that has options for specific post types, you can select that from the list. 
All right, so now the fun part, the styling part. So you can style what the uh, uh, what the buttons look like, what the audio player looks like in this section. Actually, before I go ahead and do that, I'm going to turn on the auto publish and I'm going to get started. So I want to show you what it looks like live on a site, and then we can come back and adjust the style settings and show you how the changes are that changes take effect. So I'm going to auto publish. Ignore the style settings for now. I'm just going to leave the default. And I'm going to hit Save Changes. So settings are saved. Now, because this is the first time I'm using the plugin, I need to import all my podcasts into my blog. So I got to do that manually the first time. I click Import Now. It's going to take, this one's pretty fast actually. It takes about 10 seconds to import about 108 podcast episodes. So, okay, done. 108 podcast episodes added. So now, because auto publish was on, I can go ahead and just visit the site. Let's see what it looks like. So here we are, the default settings, uh, default style settings. What you'll notice is first the title. So the episode title is taken from the iTunes feed. There's a nice audio player. Uh, and a couple call to action buttons. The audio player is actually very uh, nice in the sense that it's also mobile friendly. So if I'm gonna simulate that here for a second, the more I resize this button to simulate it in an iPhone, for example, the, the play button is still nice and big and it's very touch friendly, so it looks great. Call to action buttons, if I click here, it's gonna uh, download the MP3 file. Uh, if, if I click here, it's going to take me to the iTunes page for someone to subscribe. Or if they're on mobile, it's going to take them to the podcast app if they have that installed. So these are call to action buttons. We'll get to how to style them in a second. And the description. Description is imported automatically from the iTunes feed. And your keywords or your tags. So keywords from your iTunes feed automatically get added as keywords to your blog post. So as you can see, here's uh, episode 107, same kind of deal, uh, the keywords are there. All right, so that's that's basically it. This all happened within 10 seconds. You have 108 episodes on your blog within 10 seconds. Now, let's edit and customize the look of it. So first thing you want to do is, let me go back to my settings and just customize the look of it. So I know... Um, Pat Flynn's got a Stitcher account and he's got a SoundCloud account. So I'm gonna, I wanna turn on those buttons as well. So if I turn on the Stitcher account and I can go find the URL for the Stitcher homepage and paste it here. And same deal with the SoundCloud. I'm gonna turn on the SoundCloud button and I'm going to find his SoundCloud page and go ahead and paste that here. And if you want, you can change the colors. I'm just gonna leave the default colors. And transcript, so this is pretty cool. If you have a transcript, you can add it to your, uh, your post in a very cool way. I'll show you exactly what that looks like. So I'm gonna turn that on and I'm gonna leave this color as white for now. I'm gonna show, uh, leave the text as view transcript. And the last option is the audio player. We have a dark and a light, so the black player and a white player. So depending on your on your website, what theme you're using, you may want to switch that. I'll leave it as black for now. And I'm going to hit Save Changes. So now when I go back to visit the site, now I see a couple of new things. I see two new buttons. Subscribe on Stitcher, subscribe on SoundCloud, and also the view transcripts. So right now, when I click on it, there's nothing because I didn't add the transcript yet. So that's what we're gonna do next. So the cool thing about this transcript is that it it doesn't clutter your blog post. It um it it hides it. And if you want, to, the user wants to expand it, it's gonna expand and show you. So I'll show you what, how that looks like, and I'm gonna show you how to add it pretty easily. So I'm going to just go ahead and edit this post and show you what that looks like. So the first thing you'll notice is the um, title, like I mentioned before, is there. The um, description's there. The category was set, we chose podcast. All the, the tags are there. Now, 
the there's two square blocks here one called SPP audio SPP transcript so these are the what's called the short code or the code that that will show the audio player with all the call to action buttons and this one that will show the transcript button so the cool thing is I can just go ahead and move them anywhere I like so I don't I'm not stuck I'm not stuck having them by default. I can just move them anywhere and just paste it here for as an example. Or if I want my audio player uh, somewhere after the first paragraph and then my transcript maybe a, a little bit later, it's totally up to you. You can customize how that looks like just by moving those blocks of code around. Okay, now how do we get the transcript? So the transcript, there's a, a box just below the post called Simple Podcast Press. You can enter your transcript or show notes or whatever you want to add in that section. So I'm going to grab a transcript file that just a sample here. I'm just going to copy this text and just drop it in here and go ahead and update my post. And if I view the post now, you gotta notice a couple things. I move the audio player, so I have my first paragraph. I put the audio player down here, and then the view transcripts is actually just below here. If I click on it, it shows the full transcript. If I close it again, it hides it. If I click on it, it expands it. So it's great, so it doesn't clutter up your site, but it also makes it nice to um, have a transcript available to people. If you like what you've seen so far, I'd love to have you join the Early Access Beta Group. All you gotta do is sign up below, and if you're selected, you're gonna get access to the plugin, and you're gonna get a chance to request new features and help make this software better for everyone. I'm Hanny Mora, and I look forward to seeing you on the inside.